Hello everyone, welcome to Math with Smart Tips. Today in this video, we are discussing about Bayes theorem and their applications with some examples. Bayes theorem is the most powerful theorem of probability theory. So Bayes rule is a conditional probability that measures the uncertainty given a specific circumstance. Uh, it is used in everyday life also, including uh, friendships and dating also. By examining your current friendships or partners, you have, you can better understand the selection effects and modify your actions or behavior in the in order to form more friendships or relationships uh, that you think are most valuable applying Bayes theorem uh, will you uh, help to analyze what you gain and what you lose by taking a certain actions before going to the statements of Bayes theorem we first uh, discuss about conditional probability because from the concept of conditional probability the theorem of Bayes that is the Bayes theorem or Bayes rule comes. So first we discuss the conditional probability. So what is conditional probability? If A and B are two events connected with a random experiment E then the conditional probability of an event of the event B on the hypothesis that the event A has already occurred denoted by P B by A. P B given A that means this event is already occurred and you have to find the probability of this event provided that this event is already occurred is defined as P B given A this is equal to P A B intersection A by P A let us take this as number 1 and similarly P A given B that means if B events already occurred and you have to find the probability of the event A then the probability equal to probability of A intersection B by probability of B. And now the A intersection B and B intersection A are two same thing. So probability of A intersection B and probability of B intersection A are equal. So from based on this result we can write probability of B intersection A equal to from here from number 1 we can write probability of B intersection A this is equal to P B given A into probability of A and similarly P A intersection B equal to we can write probability of A given B into P B. So if we equate these two since these two are equal so from this and this we get probability of B given A into probability of A this is equal to probability of A given B into probability of B. So that means we can write here probability of B given A this is equal to probability of A given B probability of B into by divided by probability of A. So this is the probability we can define uh, for any two events A and B whether the any one of this is already occurred and you have to find the probability of another event or you can write probability of A given B is equal to this probability of B given A into probability of A by probability of B. Now before going to the statements of uh, Bayes theorem we have to know some key terms or key points. So this is the probability of A given B suppose and this is equal to probability of B given A into probability of A. So this probability of A given B this is known as posterior that is the probability of A being true given that B is already true B is true and this probability of A B given A is known as likelihood that is the probability of B being true given the probability of A is, A is true and this is called the prior probability of A, the probability of A being true, this is the knowledge and probability of B means, this means marginalization, that means the probability of B being true. So this is the complete procedure of Bayes theorem, this is the mechanism of Bayes theorem. So now let us come to the point, this is for a single event A and B based on A and B single case. So now if we now come to the definition of sorry the statement of Bayes theorem. If E1, E2, EN such events are mutually disjoint events with probability of EI not equal to 0 for I equal to 1 to N then for any arbitrary event A uh, which is subject of in union of I equal to 1 to N EI such that probability of A is greater than 0 then we have this is the statements of Bayes theorem probability of E i given a that means this is an event which is already occurred you have to find the probability of this event E i provided that this is already occurred. So this is equal to probability of E i into probability of A given E i divided by sum of the 
all probabilities probability of ei into probability of a given ei so if you take this is a complete sample space this is complete s and union of ei means s so s equal to union of ei suppose i equal to 1 to n suppose this e1 this is e2 this is e3 and so on this is suppose e n dot 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 e n so if we take if we define an event a which is subset of this event that means if we define the event a then the event such that this is a event so a is subset of this n events e1 e2 e n then we have to uh, find the probability that uh, probability of ei given probability of at the event a that means a is already occurred provided a is already occurred you have to find the probability of ei that means let us take an example suppose probability of defective of some uh, electric or you can take any other things so probability of defect suppose if uh, e1 e2 even are different in different companies you have to choose they provide the stocks in the market suppose you have to find a lot which is defect which have defective item then you have to find the uh, company from which the defective product come from this is an uh, example you can take uh, for understanding the bayes theorem suppose e1 e2 e3 three companies e1 e2 and e3 are three companies which produces electric bulb and uh, the stocks they provide in the market and if now if you find a, uh, a product if you find a bulb which is defective if you want to calculate the probability that the uh, defective product come from which uh, companies or uh, a defective product the probability of finding the probability of defective from e1 or e2 or e3 then we uh, use here the concept of bayes theorem now uh, here's one or two remarks we have the remarks are the probabilities p1 p2 and pn are termed as prior probabilities because they exist before we gain any information from the experiment itself before we gain any information from the experiment itself these probabilities are exist so that's why these probabilities are called the prior probability now the remark 2 is probabilities p ai a given ei i equal to one day are known as likelihoods because they are indicates how likely the event under the consideration uh, it is to occur given each and every prior probability and the third one is the probability ei given a p ei given a i equal to 1 to n is called posterior probabilities because they are determined after the result of the experiment are known so these terms uh, we already discussed in that this uh, above diagram for conditional probability and for general case that is n event we have term this as this in bayes theorem now let us take an example let us take the example in a bolt factory the machine avc manufactured 25 35 and 40 pieces of total bolt respectively of this output 5 4 and 2 pieces are defective bolts a bolt is drawn at random at random this is important word from the product and is to be defective what is the probability that it was manufactured by either a or b or c respectively so we have to find the probability of the defective item which is manufactured by a or b a and b and c respectively so let us consider the events e1 the bolt is manufactured by a e2 the bolt is manufactured by b and e3 the bolt is manufactured by the company c and let us take the probability a and another event d the bolt is defective now their uh, manufacturing number of bolts are 25 35 and 40 therefore total bolt is equal to 100 now therefore p of e1 that is probability of the bolt is manufactured by a a manufactured 25 bolts and total bolt is these three sums 
so this gives 25 by 100 gives 1 by 4 similarly probability of e2 that means the voltage produced or manufactured by company b is 35 by 100 that is 7 by 20 and probability of e3 equal to similarly 40 by 100 this is equal to 2 by 5 now probability of d given e1 that means the product uh, the <coughs> voltage manufactured by company a this is the event stands for the voltage manufactured by a this is given and you have to find the product of the defective item you have to find the probability of defective item provided this is a manufactured by company a this is equal to how many five five pieces are defective bolts for a and four pieces for b and two pieces for c only therefore this is equal to five by total voltage 100 this one probability of d given e2 means we have to find the probability of defective provided that the voltage produced or manufactured by b this is the event stands for this is equal to 1 by 25 similarly and probability of d given e3 this is equal to that means the product is defective provided or given that uh, the voltage manufactured by factory c this is equal to 1 by 50 now by base theorem you have to find the probability of <coughs> defective item which is comes from a that means uh, you have to find the probability of the defective bolt manufactured by a given that the sorry the voltage manufactured by a given that the voltage defective d for defective so this is equal to this is the formula for base theorem probability of e1 into probability of d given e1 by sum of this three probabilities this is the probability the total probability of the bolt is defective from any other manufacturer or any other companies so this is the probability the denominator is the total probability of the which, which is the bolt is defective only so this is equal to probability of e1 into probability of d given e1 the all the values are provided here so p d e1 equal to 1 by 4 and p d given e1 equal to 1 by 2 this is in the denominator and numerator section are already when 1 by 4 into 1 by 20, 7 by 20 into 1 by 25 and 2 by 5 into 1 by 50. This is the total probability. So, you now we now do simple calculation to find the answer. So, for this case, we have the answer 50, 25 by 69. That is the probability. What is the that is the probability that was manufactured by A is 25 by 69 this one and the next one is the uh, product is uh, manufactured by company b this is equal to p e2 into p d by e2 and divided by total probability i can write is as in the summation form so now all the values are given in the above if we put the values and simple calculation to get the answer and this is equal to the last answer is 28 by 69 therefore the bolt is manufactured that the bolt which is defective manufactured by company b is this 28 by 69 and similarly find the probability of the uh, uh, bolt is manufactured by company c given that the product is defective which is equal to probability of e3 probability of d given e3 by sum of the three ab probabilities put the values are already given in the above so this is equal to 2 by 5 into this and this this is simple calculation you can calculate as your in as your own way so this is equal to 60 16 by 69 so these three are the required probabilities 16 by 69 28 by 69 and 15 sorry 16 by 69 therefore this is equal to uh, 28 by 69 for b and for c we have 16 by 69 so this is the content for this video if the video is helpful then please give a like to this video share with your friends and subscribe to the channel thank you friends see you again in the next video